What's going on everyone? This is Jacob Amaral here. Today I'm gonna to be talking about why I don't trade crypto and why I don't have any trading bots for cryptocurrencies running live. Also stay tuned at the end of the video for an update on my Rebull trading bot. So there's three main reasons why I don't trade crypto and have no trading bots uh, running on cryptocurrencies, okay? So the biggest reason, definitely reason number one, is I still don't really fully understand cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies don't really solve a problem in my life and I never felt that I needed them to do something, right? I per just prefer using my credit card, tapping you know, at the grocery store or wherever I'm at. I, I feel like cryptocurrencies doesn't solve a problem, so I never felt the need to trade them. When I started day trading and building trading bots, you know, obviously most people start with stocks and I understand those better. I understand that when you buy stocks, you're buying a small ownership in a company. And generally those companies solve a problem. Obviously, a lot of you know me to trade futures um, and generally I'm trading futures on indexes. So for example, in my trading bot that I'm running live right now, uh, one of the assets that I trade is the S&P 500 index. I understand how that works. You know, it's a average of all the top 500 companies by market cap in the United States, um, you know, their prices essentially. And I understand that a lot of those companies solve problems that, you know, I need. For example, my laptop is an HP laptop, which I'm sure HP or Dell is probably in the S&P 500. That solves a problem, right? It allows me, it's a device where I can, you know, access the internet and, and build trading bots. So that solves a problem. And a lot of those companies in the S&P 500 solve a problem for me. Going back to cryptocurrencies, it doesn't solve a problem for me. And because it doesn't solve a problem for me, I'm not really interested in understanding how it works, right? Now, I could be totally off when I say this, but that's just my opinion. If, you know, I don't, I've never been motivated to learn how cryptocurrencies work and make my own cryptocurrencies. It's just never been an interest of mine. And I've, I've always felt that, you know, they're useless. So that's reason number one, why I don't trade crypto or build crypto trading bots or run any crypto trading bots live. With that being said, I have built crypto trading bots for my clients and that's something I do, but personally I don't trade them just because if I'm putting up my own money and capital, you know, I don't feel like it's a worthwhile investment. You know, you could look at Bitcoin chart and say, wow, you know, Bitcoin's been, if you bought Bitcoin in 2010, you'd be up 9 million percent. You know, the hindsight's 2020 and you know, it matters now and I just feel like, you know, it's not worth it. So that's reason number one. Sorry, I went off a tangent there. Uh, reason number two I found when I built initial crypto trading bots is there's lots of rules when it comes to the quantities in which you trade. For example, on Binance, every single cryptocurrency pair has a different um, rule in how much quantity you can trade and what's the precision. For example, with Bitcoin, obviously one Bitcoin is worth, I don't know, 10, 11,000, or sorry. Obviously one Bitcoin is worth, you know, whatever, 10, $11,000 right now US, but you can buy, you know, 0.1 Bitcoin or 0.01 Bitcoin. And I found that, especially if you're trading with a little amount of capital, even one to $2,000, you know, being able to programmatically, um, you know, find the best precision and, and best decimal place on how much you're trading with. I just, I had a lot of issues with that. And honestly, I gave up to be honest, but um, I had a lot of issues with the quantity sizing and sometimes they were wrong. And if they were wrong, they just, the trade order wouldn't go through, the buy order would not go through and Binance would say, you know, check the trade rules. And it was just really frustrating. You know, with futures, you just buy one contract or 10 contracts, like their whole numbers. Uh, and even with stocks, you know, it's 100, 10, 100 shares. I mean, you know, it's a lot easier to, to manage. Now, with that being said, you know, there's this whole fractional share movement going on as well. So that's gonna com complicate things a little bit, but that's rule no, uh, reason why, um, reason number two on why I don't trade cryptocurrencies. There's so many rules when it comes to quantity sizings um, and you'll, you'll, you'll have to be able to, you'll spend a lot of time writing code to, you know, find those quantity sizings and make sure they're correct. So. That's, you know, that's an issue for me as well. Reason number three, and the last reason why I don't trade cryptocurrencies and run trading bots live with cryptocurrencies is I've always felt a little bit um, odd and, and, you know, I've always felt like a little bit scared of holding cryptocurrencies, especially large amount of capital. 
uh, of cryptocurrencies in these exchanges. Okay, I know, I know if, any, if, if there's any you know cryptocurrency pros that are watching this video right now, they're probably saying, oh, we should store it on a wallet, you know, physical wallet, all that sort of stuff. And, and I'm sure you're right, absolutely. But there's been lots of exchanges that have gone down. Uh, or been a total scam where they just took all your money and ran with no, you know, justice or, or you know, repercussions for, for you know, for example, obviously, um, Quadrigo, which was a big, uh, big one in Canada, uh, recent, not recently went down, I think went down two years ago, where the exchange just closed and a bunch of people lost a ton of money uh, with any cryptocurrency holdings in there. So, um, it's always been giving me like a bad taste, a bad first impression, because that was actually the first brokerage that I signed up for Quadriga and it worked for a while, but, um, you know, stuff like that, it, it always worried me, you know, where when you're buying stocks and you're, you're buying exchanges, you know, these are regulated by the government. So, um, you know, these you're, you're insured for, um, quite a bit of money if you were to ever lose it. Um, so definitely I feel more safer when I, I I'm buying securities and buying futures. Uh, it just feels more official and I feel more secure. With cryptocurrency, with cryptocurrencies, it's always felt a little bit scammy uh, to me. And and I know obviously there's you know Binance, which is a very probably the most popular cryptocurrency exchange right now, and Coinbase that are very secure and they've you know invested a lot in their infrastructure um, and security. Um, and you know nothing wrong with them, but just overall for my first impression. Uh, it's always felt scammy and I've always felt scared to put a lot of capital into it. Uh, you know, being worried that it would just get stolen. They would just shut down and steal. So that's probably the last reason why I wouldn't trade cryptocurrencies. With that being said, you know, there's a lot of pros to cryptocurrencies. The biggest one is mostly they're very friendly to developers, right? A lot of the exchanges have uh, APIs that you don't have to pay extra for. Um, the market data is free, you know, being able to get real time data uh, is usually free. It's not an extra cost uh, where with, you know, um, uh, trading stocks and building systems to, to trade stocks and futures and options, you always have to pay extra uh, for that market data, which kind of sucks. And it can be expensive if you want to trade a lot of assets, right? So not only are you paying for that market data, and then of course you have commissions on top of that. With the cryptocurrency exchanges, they're super friendly and most exchanges have an API, right? There's some stock brokerages that don't even have an official API. Uh, Robinhood, Webull, Charles Schwab, they all don't have official APIs and it's really hard to build automated trading systems for these brokerages. Um, some of them are even impossible, like, like Charles Schwab, for example. So. Um, Cryptocurrency exchanges are really developer friendly. Um, the exchanges, um, or sorry, the commissions are you know somewhat cheaper. Um, I know there's a lot of brokers now that are zero commission. I'm sure there's some zero commission cryptocurrency brokerages, but on average you're paying less um, per you know transaction. So I would say those are the main you know pros of cryptocurrencies. And if you're watching this video right now and you prefer trading cryptocurrencies, let me know in the comments below why you do so. And if you don't like cryptocurrencies like I do, um, let me know as well. Um, you know, do you feel like they're kind of scammy or they don't really solve a problem in your life? Um, let me know if you agree or disagree with my statements. Now that you've reached the end of the video, I wanted to give an update on my Webull trading bot. I made a video about three weeks ago where I built a stock trading bot for Webull, which is a popular uh, commission-free brokerage and um, it's going along very, very well. I've been able to basically automatically detect support and resistance lines with this trading bot and now it updates in real time with streaming data. With that being said, I still have to do some more testing and get it to essentially buy when the support line is hit and sell out the resistance line, okay? Um, so there's still some more testing that needs to be done. I know it's, it's been a while, but I've been very busy uh, with my business, with YouTube, and a bunch of other uh, real life stuff that I haven't you know, put much time into it. But I should have that video out for you next week and you'll be able to actually use the Webull trading bot, okay? So once again, this is Jacob Amaral here. I hope you found value in this video. If you did, feel free to hit that like button and we will see you next week. Have a good one, guys.